Hello, my name is Glenn Dyer, and you are watching a dire situation. Today, I'm seeing Warcraft. Um, this is based on the uh, the lore, I presume, of um, the MMORPG uh, Blizzard series, World of Warcraft. At least I presume. Um, now. I just say this bluntly, with no remorse, mostly because you're going to see my opinions after the movie pretty much immediately. This movie looks like it's going to be horse shit. Judging from the trailers that have been blasted at me, the advertisements, the everything I've seen leading up to it, this looks like an awful, awful movie. Uh, the the plot line, uh, at least the one being th that I'm getting from that, is uh, uh, two people from different races must get along and save the world from something. It looks so dumb. It looks like... Ah, <sighs> oh, man. It's hard to even, like, fathom this, like, just how stupid this looks. Uh, Jesus. So I'm gonna go in there, and I'm going to um, elaborate it fairly, but if I'm being fully honest, this has given me a Dungeons and Dragons vibe. Like, similar thing, a property that everybody loves, just given a lot of freedom here to do whatever it feels like. And it's most likely going to be unintentionally hilarious a lot of the time. Uh. But so, not looking forward to this even slightly. And I guess we'll have to see. Hey, so I got, um, when I was at the thing, they, they handed out this nice free coupon for for the actual World of Warcraft. Trying to get me hooked on the game. <laughs> oh. I just realized I showed that to you. Huh. Yeah, I, oh well, I'll probably redeem it before this video goes up anyway. Or blur it out, one of the two. Um, anyway. Okay. First 20 minutes. It was hilarious, uh, really funny. All the all the orcs they look like um, they look like the ogre clan in in Shrek Forever After. Like they look exactly like that. Their body build, their armor types, and stuff like that. It was very funny. Um, the whole style. It looks like a video game, and in not not in the good way. Like. Just in the funny, everything, almost everything is CGI and or cheap plastic way. Um, it's incredibly awkward. The pacing is so bad. Um, some really terrible acting going on. And for the first 20 minutes, just really funny and really terrible. And then after that, really, really boring. Sadly, this is not like the room where uh, it's, like, hilariously bad all the way through and it throws new stuff at you to be to, to find funny and stuff. Instead, it stays just consistently at that level and doesn't get good, just stays, like, at that level of bad. And for a while, just, it just slogs on forever. Uh... Just with these, like, really hard-to-understand motivations and and strange art style and really off-the-rails storyline here that never feels, like, fully accomplished by the end. Like, at all. This feels like, like a footnote in some other story. And plot holds up the wazoo, too. Like, uh, 
Okay, let, let me just basically try to explain the plot. It's gonna be difficult, because this is just so st strange. Um, so basically, there's the, this medieval kingdom of people, and they've been living in peace for a while. And then there's this orc planet. Um, so like a planet made, like populated by orcs, right? And uh, they build a, an evil time portal and escape through it using souls. And and it's all because of this really evil evil wizard orc. Evil wizard orc. Um, and also this one guy who uh, has been accidentally helping them using his magic? His evil green magic? Um, and it's fully by accident. He's not doesn't realize he's doing it, I think. Not consciously. But it requires long incantation. Okay. Um, and yeah, the orcs come and they're planning on bringing a, capturing a whole bunch of humans and bringing a lot more orcs because their planet sucks and our planet looks cool. And it's like they want to, they want to invade. We. Um. Yeah. Actually, I don't know if I want to say plot holes now that I think about it. More just uh, inconsistencies. Like, for instance, there's this one main character who's like a half orc, half human. Like, it's kind of weird because. Like, orcs don't exist in the human world. This, for one thing, this is just a strange concept to me. There's a fantasy human world and a fantasy orc world that combine together. What? Why can't they just be the same world? Doesn't make sense to me. But anyway, um, the, 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 uh, the, um, the, like, half orc, half human, I think. Like, there's, there's no orcs in the human world, and presumably no humans in the orc world. But she looks half human, half orc. We don't, like... Are there just very human-like creatures in orc world? We saw these, like, blue things that she was communicating with, but they... She didn't look like she was one part them at all. She looked like a totally different... She looked like part human, right? Um... And she can speak the blue creature's language, and she also speaks our language and the orc language. But how does she speak our language if she's never seen humans before? Presumably none of them have. And for, and for inconsistencies like this, if one of you dares in the comments to tell me that looking it up on the internet or reading some stupid book will explain it to me, I will frickin' cut your balls off, alright? I don't care. I'm talking about the friggin' movie. It has to explain its premise and its characters, period. Alright? I don't take that excuse for the Star Wars prequels. I don't take that excuse here, too. Anyway. So, yeah, confused about her in general. Like, what, what is her deal? What, where did she come from? Why is nobody else questioning her deal? Um... The, uh, there's a few scenes that make, that just seem jumbled up and don't quite make sense together. For instance, um, once again with the half-orc lady, right? She's, exp she's, uh, talking to, uh, the, uh, this high wizard guy, the Guardian, and, uh, he, he, um, And, and, and he's like hands her this blue weird flower thing inside of his teleportation bubble. Like he can teleport. Just bear with me. Inside of his teleportation bubble, and he hands her this blue flower thing. And he's like, uh, "There, this is for you." And she grabs it, and then she teleports somewhere. Next scene, she's like, she's she's just with everyone else. It's not like nothing happened. I'm not sure what that scene was trying to accomplish. I really don't. It made no sense to me. She never talked about again. Doesn't... And there's this other scene where that same Guardian guy, he's like... 
he's like being possessed by green energy and he gets super e super duper evil and he grows horns on his chin and he's like I'm gonna conquer the world or something and then the and then the next scene he looks fine and he's like talking politics with some people and progresses the plot a little more and then the scene after that he has more horns and he's doing his evil plan and stuff and uh, like, it, it was like those scenes were out of order. <laughs> I can't even believe that. I haven't seen a movie in a long time, not a movie released in theaters, where it honestly felt like the scenes were out of order. But that's what happened. Uh, what else? The ending? Oh my god, the ending. I almost facepalmed because that was such a forced and stupid ending. It felt so unnecessary. And everyone's motivations is conf are confusing. The whole movie is a confusing, baffling mess. Um, they do this really annoying Battlefield Earth thing. You know how, um... You know how on Battlefield Earth, the aliens and the humans speak a different language, but when we're with the humans, it sounds like English, and when we're with the aliens, it sounds like English, but only when they come together do they seem to have translation stuff. I hate that. Like, they do this the same same way. The orcs have their language, and we humans obviously speak human language, which sound, and both of them sound like English to us. I hate that mostly because it presumes that its audience can't read. It presumes that they can't read, or that they are honestly too, or that the filmmakers are too incompetent to be able to uh, tell a story visually if they really don't feel like subtitles. It's one of the two, and that's terrible. Either one of those is terrible. Um, it. <laughs> Like, I hate that. Like, they go through so much trouble with it, too. Like, when both languages are being spoken at the same time, they have this weird, like, shift thing that happens when, like, people are translating or when we shift from one language to another. And honestly, I think that's a harder thing to do than to just have them have the subtitles or something. Or just have them speak the same language. That works, too. I wouldn't have questioned it. I mean, the whole premise is already ridiculous, why not? But, Jesus. But I know, it's because it's in the game. That's what you're going to say. I know it. I've already predicted it. It's because it's in the game. But, there were some concessions that should have been made. That really should have been made. This movie is a terrible movie. Like, is it really as bad as I maybe initially thought? I don't know. Certainly, like, the f like, at least for a short period of time, I was enjoying it quite a bit just because of how hilariously bad it was, but after that, it was just... couldn't stand it. I really couldn't. And, yeah, I'm sorry, but that's just, that's just how I feel about it. Um... I don't know, maybe I'll try out the, uh, World of Warcraft coupon. Eh, that could be fun. You never know. Uh. I don't know, maybe once I play this, it'll, it'll be okay. But yeah, let me, let me just say this, alright? If you're a diehard fan of World of Warcraft and you want to see a movie that appeals to your ego and just tells that story you want, maybe this will be okay for you. But for anyone else, as a, I feel that as a movie itself, this is an awful movie. Truly awful movie. Alright? So there's my, there's my review. There you go. It's an awful, awful movie. But maybe it's a nice visual adaptation of some... Warcraft storyline. I don't know. So until next time, I'm Glenn Dyer, and you have been watching A Dyer Situation.